Good morning. I feel like it has been forever. I'm trying to get some music on here. Where's Pandora? Where is it? There we go. All right, it has been, oh my gosh, I think <coughs> three or four weeks since I have been live because when I'm on one break, ooh, that's loud. When I'm on one break, I'm on winter break. Not going to lie. I think I, um, sorry, I'm trying to get my stuff together. Um... And I forgot like all these little details. Good morning, Danit. Oh my gosh, Danit. I am so excited to share with you this tip. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to hook in my little microphone here. Good morning, Celeste, right? The lovely lady right here. And I, I'm going to butcher the name. Malu Designs. I'm not sure that's working because I forgot I changed my adapter. Um, they made Kara's beautiful um, lay that is hanging up here from graduation. Is that music too loud? I'm going to go ahead and get started, but let me know if the music's too loud. Of course, I do not own rights to the music. So I am excited, Dan it. Um, to finally be on <clears throat> and talk a little bit about concealer tips. As you um, saw that I announced last night, I am going to try and I'm shooting for five, not ten, five lives a week. So Tuesday is going to be my tip Tuesday. So today's tip, Danit, is dedicated to you. So when we're talking about choosing concealers, I have two. I actually need, this is taffeta, I actually need one more shade down. Concealer is, when you purchase your concealer, it really depends on what you need it for. I have two. This is why. Because if you have blemishes that you want to cover, or a zit, or a... <laughs> You're welcome. Something you want to cover or spots, you want it about the same shade as your foundation. I'm trying to see where I get good color. So I'm wearing BB Cream and Honey right now with a little bit of liquid foundation, light colored. My normal, like summer, is chiffon. So my concealer is chiffon. If I needed to cover up, a nasty zit or an age spot. If I want something to match because you don't want to highlight a zit, you want your concealer the same color as your foundation. Now, if we're talking about under the eyes, like right here, you do not want to use the same color. You want to go two shades lighter because you want to highlight under the eyes. Danit, I know that is what um, was trippy for you because, I mean, I thought it made your eyes just like pop, but we're not used to it. This is only one shade lighter. I actually need to go one more shade lighter, um, but I'm going to use this up and then I'll order me one because that's what we do, right? So, let me... Take a breath. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning, Valerie. My newest Ray Dunn mug, Grace. Thank you to my friend Carrie, who got me a huge stash. Absolutely am in love with these mugs. Okay, so I did my entire face. Can we talk about these brows for a moment? My normal place closed and 
and then Carmen tweezed and Carmen made some mistakes and um, Carmen did no bueno. Carmen is not allowed to have the tweezers anymore. But I went and I got my brows done at um, the Iron Scissors Salon here in Pismo Beach and Janae is my new esthetician here at the beach and she did an amazing job with the brows and I feel like I need to brush that little space. Um, I am in love with them. Um, yeah, they're amazing. And one of the things she had said is, I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on my hand to warm it up a little bit while we chat, is she said, your brows are sisters, not twins. I was like, oh my gosh, that's genius. Because you know how we always want them to be exact. So I have got um, the concealer on my hand. I want to kind of warm it up for just a moment. Um, it is a skin perfecting concealer, so we're going to get it worked in really, really amazingly um, good. I follow a makeup artist. His name... Oh, if you're watching, say hi. Tell me where you're watching from. And feel free to hit that share button. It will not hurt my feelings at all. At all. I'd, I'd be totally happy and jazzed if you hit the little share button. It'd make me happy. Hi, Emily. Um, and then if you're a replay viewer, hashtag replay. Tell me where you're watching from. So I am, and you can already tell that it's warmed up some. Because you do want it to warm up to your body. I watch, and this is where I got this tip, and this is the first time I'm doing it, Dan. It, um, his name is Wayne Goss, G-O-S-S. -S, and he is an amazing man, and I love watching him. And so I am using his amazing under eye concealer technique today for the first time because... You know, if you're going to do it first time, why practice? Why not just do Facebook Live in front of everyone and make a mistake or something? But, you know, it's okay. So first, what I'm going to do, it's like a, like a four-step process, kind of. I did my eyeshadow. I kind of left this um, like I didn't clean it up at all because you're going to see why in just a moment. So I'm just going to get, I'm going to get my concealer packed on my brush this is my concealer brush. You can use whatever brush you want, but I'm getting it on my concealer brush. And this is where you can go heavy. So we're just going to get it on here. And then you want, you want to bring it down. You want it to be like a triangle. You, you don't want it just right under your eyes, okay? So... Because I know back in the past, I would have just put it on there and called it good. But no, we don't want to do that. We want to highlight the eyes. So we are going to do an obtuse triangle, I think. If my sixth grade math is right. Good morning, Laura. I'm finally live again. Can you believe it? I tell you, winter break, I do not wear makeup. And I'm not lying. I think I wore makeup twice. I think twice. Even the day when Kara and I took the train down to Northridge, I, I don't even think I wore makeup that day. Not gonna lie. I just don't. I really don't. <coughs> so it looks like a lot of concealer, right? And and that's okay because this is what we're gonna do. So first, these are the tools I'm gonna have besides my concealer, my foundation brush. I'm gonna have my concealer brush that I cleaned off this morning. I've got a little itty bitty mini blender, beauty blender, little squishy sponge, and then a little piece of toilet paper. Okay. So first I've got it all under there. I did my triangle. So I went from like the corner of my nose out past my eye hair. Now I'm going to bring in my concealer brush and I'm going to use that end 
and then he says you want to buff it in. And then you here you can bring it up. You know how we want to clean up? So we're just going to buffer it in. He said, and this is, I love watching him because he just is amazing. You want to buff it into your skin. You want to work the product into your skin. You don't want it just laying right on top. And then you want to bring it into the corner of your nose and just, we're going to buff it in. And, and it's going to look like you may be like terrified, but sorry, I always bump that. I need to figure out a way to stabilize it. See, and then this is where we can use this as a cleanup. So we're just going to keep buffing this in. Because we're working it into the skin. Okay. I'm just going to work it in there. Make sure I'm not getting too low. I'm going to come to this side. Good morning, Sonia. Laura, morning. I wear makeup maybe three times a week. Maybe. <laughs> I really wish you would have been at the store yesterday. That would have been so awesome to see you when I was... Um, driving through the pure craziness called the 166 because that was, I'm getting a little out of control right there, but we're going to buff it in. So no worries. Um, it was, uh, make sure you get right here in this line. It was really, really, really crazy. Not gonna lie, it was scary crazy. Okay, so you just want to buff it into the skin. This is us working the concealer into the skin. So, next, we're gonna take some tissue and then we're gonna go through and we're gonna dab the excess off. I'm just going to dab the excess that's sitting on top off. And I'm not pressing hard. I'm just tapping. Okay. And I did take a before picture because I wanted to take a before picture to see the before and the after and to see the difference. So now I'm going to get my itty bitty... Now that we move the excess product, I'm going to take, and there's not a whole bunch that came off, but there's some. I'm going to take my beauty blender. You want this to be damp, so I'm not getting up and going to, you know, the sink to damp it, so I'm just going to take my rose water. One spritz is all you need. And then now we're going to take it, and we're just going to tap, 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 tap. We're working it into the skin. Okay. And then look how clean. Remember that line from where I did the shadow earlier? Look at that. Um, Emily, neither did I. But my beautiful friend here, Danit, had tried the concealer and um you know how we always recommend going a shade lighter when you're wanting it for under the eyes? Because we want it to highlight the eyes. Um, so I went and was watching Wayne's videos because I do love his videos. I love watching his tips. And that's one of the things <clears throat> um, he showed. And I loved it. So there you go. There you have it. So I cleaned that up. I'm going to use that brush. Did I already put it away? But that's it. So I will show my um, my before and after of what it looks like. What I'm going to do now, though, so I had done my contour earlier. I'm going to do a, because I'm just going to finish things up now that I'm finished with that. So Danit, if you're able, I'm not sure if you're still on, let me know what you think. just going to do a light dusting. Yeah, I mean it um it was super easy 
But what, and I feel, okay, because usually I'm not going to lie. So when I do my concealer under my eyes, I'm not always 100% happy with it. So Dan, it like, I feel now like my eyes are brighter. And I'm going to brighten them up because I am going to uh, set this. So I have, we, we have, not I, we have two setting spray, two setting products. The setting spray, you know, I love blessing myself with this every day. Love it. And then we have the translucent setting powder. So I got a hold of this um, because I wanted to give it a try to see if when I use the BB cream, there's more moisturizer, right? So I want to try the setting spray. Wouldn't put foundation over? No. I do my foundation first, and then I did my eyes, and then I um, I did my Lazy Woman's Contour, but no, I do, and you can really do whatever you want, but no, I do my foundation first, and then I do the highlight over it. I'm going to put a little more of my Beach Trump Browser up here. Yeah, I know it's different. Um, you, one thing I've wanted to try too, and I try to get in the habit of like doing my eyes first. But a couple of things that a couple of options you have if you want to do your eyeshadow last, like after foundation. One, you can use these little gel pads under the eyes, do your eyes, and then it cleans off your foundation. Or you can use. Um, Kelly did this one day and I used it using powder is you can put the translucent setting powder not pack it on but kind of like baking when you pack it on under the eye and leave it loose and then do your shadow and then you just take a little duster and you dust it off exactly so oh Emily that's awesome um yeah I'm gonna try the setting powder Tracy says foundation first I used to do it the other way but definitely works better if you use concealer last I feel um so I've got my foundation on and then we're gonna do the concealer we want to work the the highlighting into the foundation and into our skin, into our face. All right. Just enjoying your show and smiling at that little girl who has come so far. <laughs> I don't have to say it out loud, but I did. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, but Willow family right there. Good morning, Anna. So, okay, so... I am going to go ahead and use the, I'm going to tap out just a little bit of this. So I was going through a, a little thing yesterday and I found an extra brush and I'm trying to decide what brush I'm going to use. Because I use this one for my powder, but I found this, look at this little puffy brush. And I do have my unique one, but um, it's, um, I've had it for like four years. So I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to dust it on. So this is going to be my setting today. And the one thing I did not do is I did not use the leftover concealer to highlight. So we're going to do that really quick. I take the leftover concealer and I can use this as a highlight. And then I'm going to work it in. Okay, and then we're going to set that. And then I promise, Danit, I will take a picture of the before and after so you can see the difference of not having the highlight under the eye versus having it on. Because I'm not sure if it's like on camera, if you can tell that much. So we'll give that a go. And then we're just going to do a little bit of Illuminizer. And hopefully Bryson is getting his booty out of bed get ready for school gosh it seems like we've been off for so long I had to take my girl yesterday she went to go be with her beautiful best friend and they're gonna go wedding dress shopping because Kara's her maid of honor 
Just so weird that my daughter is old enough to be a maid of honor. But strangely enough, no, I was 18. No, I was 17 or 18 when I was a maid of honor for the first time for my best friend. And here she is. She will be 19 at the wedding, but here she is, 19, maid of honor for her best friend. I use the blender with the setting powder on the concealer area. Ah! Oh, did I? I think I did that. Well, I used this little thing. So I'm going to throw on my mascara real quick. We cannot forget mascara, and I almost did. This is the Epic Mascara, of course. It's, yeah, I can't believe we're going back to school already today. Seems like it was such a long break, but not long. But we get three weeks, so it's been amazing. All right. So we're going to go on this side, and then I always do two coats, so we're going to go back over there and do another coat. But this is my first time using that setting powder, and I love it. Love it, love it. Yeah. I'm, I think it'll be um, really good for me. I'm always worried about not blending in there. And I'm just happy about my brows. Janae, I am Scissor Salon. And if you're in Tehachapi, Jen, Kachan Jen Kachansky gives amazing facials. And she also can help all your waxing needs if you're in the Tatchby area. Or Bakersfield. She's worth the drive up. Not going to lie. But if you're in the Pismo Beach area, Janae at the Iron Scissor Salon, which is my stylist's new shop in Pismo Beach. It is adorable and amazing. All right, let's see. Always have to come out my lashes. So that just polishes it off right there. Look at those lashes. Carrie! Good morning. Look at today is Grace. There's my friend. She's my Ray Dunn hookup. Carrie is my, um, Sidekick ready for school today. I'm pretty sure he's not. <laughs> All right, so for lips, um, let's do our luminizer first. Luminizer. All right. It's going to go right under here, and we're going to highlight. You know where the sun hits? That's where you want to hit. Well, not where you want to hit. You don't want to, like, hit yourself, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna hit with this. I'm gonna hit the nose. I don't think there's enough coffee for today, to be honest. I'm not lying. Like I yesterday was like, you know, the first day of school where you can't sleep. That was me. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. I'm gonna go one more time here. In here. And then we'll see if the one student that always notices if I highlight, we're going to see if he notices today. Your sidekick is excited about school. <laughs> I know he's not. <clears throat> All right, so today I did um, a cream shadow and kind of a. Um, burnt orange and I use the new oh I am so excited to use this um astute I use that today for the first time so I'm gonna go with the nude lip so I'm gonna line really quick yeah it I'm not gonna lie this break has been nice 
totally bummed to have returned Kara, you know, four or five days early, but at least she gets some time with her friend. All right, so I'm going to line first, and then I'm going to use just a nude um, uh, liquid lipstick. I just kind of underline right there, and then I'm going to connect my sides. And instead of just leaving that line, you don't just want to leave a line. You want to fill it in a little bit. There you go. See, you don't want to just leave a sharp line so you've got this outline, the, you know, the whole day. And here I like to make an X, and then again I'm just going to connect it. I cannot talk during that part. Now I'm trying something, another tip. I went a little bit out, all right on the outside of my line because I feel like my lines like make my lip like straight and not as full as I want. And I can already see a difference because I went a little bit outside, right on the outside corner or not corner, the outside line of my lips. And I think I already feel like they look a little bit fuller. So I'm gonna use Splash Liquid Lipstick in Stellar. I'm wiping it off quite a bit because let me tell you, a little goes a long way. And I think Emily, I don't know if my friend Emily is on here, she uses um, lip primer on her lips for this too. Or eye primer. Okay, I really like that. Who knew you were going to get two tips in one? So I feel like my lips look fuller because I lined them a little bit extra. <clears throat> okay, and that's not it because we all know if you watch me, I love my hottie lip plumper. Celeste, if you're on, I still have um, some hottie lip plumper. If you're ready, absolutely love this stuff. And that's it. I am finished. I think I am finished. Haven't worn makeup for weeks, but I think I'm done. Hi, Coop. Um, that's it. Um, I am excited whew, to be on here. I'm shooting for five days a week, Monday through Friday. Saturday. I was going to shoot for Saturday, but Saturday is now our um, rugby Saturday. Um, so my Saturdays are dedicated to rugby, um, watching Bub, and to our rugby club. So that's it. I don't know if I'll make it on for a Saturday or not. I guess it depends on what time we got to be there. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you for liking. Um, thank you for the hearts. Um, feel free to click that share button. <clears throat> And have, um, how is his finger? His finger is, is good. Um, oh my gosh, let me tell you a funny story. <clears throat> this just shows what a big dork I am. So, one of my amazing friends, a rugby mom, <clears throat> was asking me, Oh, do you have Arnica at home? And I was like, Arnica? I don't listen to Arnica. I listen to country. What she meant was if I had Arnica, it's like a natural like remedy thing and I don't have a picture in front of me. But um it there's like a gel. I had to go get it at Calfresh Market and it's a gel that has Arnica in it and it helps um, for bruising and injury 
uh, or bruising and swelling due to injury. And then there's little, um, this little thing of like Arnica, like pellets you can get. I'll post a picture. So we went the next day and got those in the gel. And it has helped so much. Um, he, our biggest concern, they said, is if it is like this and he can't bend it, we're in trouble. But yesterday, the crazy boy went surfing. And I'm like, if you come home and you hurt that finger even more from surfing, I am not going to be happy. But he didn't. He went and surfed. Um, and he's bent it halfway. So it's it's um looking um it's looking really good. I the bruising is much better. So yeah, thank you so much for asking. It's um it was our first like that was hard to look at, but I figured, you know, that's the first time he's been hurt. I mean, he's had the cleat marks on the face and the bruises and the scratches and everything. But that was our first real injury playing rugby in five years. This is our sixth season, so that's pretty darn good. He's a smart kid, and he he does, you know, it totally stinks. It was the first ten minutes of the game, but it's what it is. So you guys have a terrific Monday, and have a great week. This is my word for the day, grace. Have grace for someone. And um, have a terrific day. And Tracy, I will post a picture of the products. I I was amazed by um, the other products that they have, these little pellet things. There's all, I'm going to go back and get the Nerve Pain one for me, but there's all kinds of the these natural little pellet looking things um, to help with things. So I'm going to go get me some. But all right, have a great day. Join me tomorrow morning at about 6.15 for a wake up to makeup. So we're talk, talking full face um, makeup tomorrow. Um, Dan it, I hope this tip helped you because I know you were so worried about that bright highlighter um, concealer. So thank you guys for watching. Bye. Peace out.